Hello Galactic Family. The great mathematician Pythagoras once stated that all is number and I am going to touch upon what he meant by this in this article and also what he meant in other quotes such as in order to reach the higher realms and connect with the divine we need to talk mathematics, the language of the creator and I am also going to attempt in brief to explain this aspect too. When we look at the universe, which is in itself an aspect of a much wider multiverse, we see numbers. Mathematics is divine law and it is cosmic law and everything in the universe reacts and responds to number sequences. It is a code, a set of instructions that nothing deviates from, even the fetus as it grows in sequences of 8 until it reaches the number 64, the tetrahedron grid. It is the abstract concept thought before the physical of the pure mathematician that is the designer of all things. And by that I mean the central power that many call God. Although this is a term I am not comfortable with. As it has in some way been monopolized by religion and therefore degraded and belittled. I have written extensively about religion and how the likes of biblical characters are really a cover story for the genetic workings of the body-body universe and how that relates to astronomy and the movement of the stars, even Jesus who is a metaphor for the solar sun, the light of the world. We are multi-dimensional beings that can be in many realities at once as stated in quantum physics based on the study of the behavior of subatomic particles and as we are ourselves made up of the same particles we too can behave in the same manner, I have experienced multi-dimensional reality myself which in mathematical terms is the minimum number of coordinates needed to specify a point of reference within something. If humanity was to become aware of this our reality would be different although we live in a society where this has been concealed from us by a ruling elite family network. In which our rightful inheritance has been kept from us, that being knowledge, mathematics equal mathema equal knowledge. But that is for another article on another day. It has been proven by cosmology with the Cobb experiment cosmic background explorer that at some point the universe was subject to a one-time beginning this has been publicly called the Big Bang Theory for many years. It was an instant flash of light and energy that caused creation to form and encoded instructions to be wrought. Mass came before the universe because all that is contained within the universe and beyond adheres to mathematical law and grows and expands to those number sequences as a consequence, such as nature in the Nautilus Shell Fibonacci sequence. Many people within the New Age field claim that they are from the light. It is my passion to dispel mistruths and fantasy and introduce reality and fact into the public domain. This is the only way to advance and move ourselves forwards as beings. Light is not limited to those who believe in ascended masters and angles, which do exist, although in a capacity not wildly known. We are all light albeit some from a lower octave of light known as the dark. Photons travel from the sun as massless particles and as they pass Higgs field they slow down and become mass aka physicality, therefore all physicality is condensed light. This miracle is also coded number sequences. We are told by the mainstream that our ancient ancestors were primitive and used basic tools to create the fantastic monuments we see today such as Stonehenge and the pyramids of Egypt. But what they never reveal is that these monuments the whole world over and beyond are connected by mathematics and for civilizations that never met, or so we are told, that is a great achievement. In fact it is not possible. Each of these monuments are encoded with the coordinates of all the others, Stonehenge contains the location of the pyramids of Egypt within its own mathematical numbering. The pyramids of Egypt contain the coordinates of Stonehenge, with double PI mathematics. 
They even contain the latitude and longitude locations of the face on Mars and pyramids in Sidonia on planet Mars itself. It is a planetary matrix system of great proportions and encoded directions between the great monuments by using the universal language of maths. Even the pyramids of Peru and Mexico and other lesser known monuments contain the same encoded coordinates too. They also refer to astronomical events such as the precession of the equinox which happens every 26,000 years 25,920 to be exact. For example there are 60 outer stones in Stonehenge which is a circular monument of 360 degrees. 360 x 60 equal 21,600. If we drop the last zero we get 2160 which is the amount of time each zodiac sign stays at the zenith. 2160 x 12 12 zodiac signs equal 25920, the precession of the equinox, the complete circuit of Earth's axis. 2159 is also within one foot of the diameter of the moon allowing for a small margin of error 2159 miles exactly. The moon is exactly 400 times smaller than the sun and is exactly 400 times closer to earth as the sun which gives us the eclipse, the optical illusion that the spheres are the same size. There are multiple examples that I could have given. In fact this would have been a book and not an article if I had done. But I hope that you can see from the brief examples I have given that we have all been kept in the dark. There is much more going on than our society teaches us and there is an inheritance awaiting us, that being knowledge. All is indeed number.